Pectus excavatum is a condition where the center of the chest curves inwards. Sometimes, it may be asymmetrical, and the lower ribs may flare out. It can be present at birth, but typically gets deeper during adolescence. We're not sure what causes pectus excavatum, but it is more common in boys than in girls, can sometimes run in the family, and is due to extra cartilage growth around the sternum. Mild cases may not show any symptoms, but moderate cases can result in shortness of breath, fatigue, and decreased physical endurance. In severe cases, the sternum may compress the heart and lungs, causing chest pain or decreased lung capacity. People with severe cases can still have relatively normal levels of physical activity. Many also experience low self-esteem, social anxiety, and stigma due to the appearance of the chest. Although pectus excavatum is not life-threatening, surgery can restore volume to the chest, increase lung and heart capacity, and improve the appearance of the chest. The primary surgical option is the NUS procedure. The NUS procedure is a two-part, minimally invasive surgery that uses a temporary metal bar to push the sternum out. The bar acts like a brace for the sternum, allowing it to reform into a more correct position without breaking or cutting any ribs. Results are best in 12 to 16 year olds, but can work in older patients as well. First, your surgeon will create three small incisions, two one inch incisions for the bar and a quarter inch one for the camera. Next, the bar is inserted between the ribs, brought in front of the heart and lungs, through a thin area of connective tissue under the sternum, and through to the other side. After the bar is positioned, it is rotated into place. This pushes the sternum out and corrects the curvature. Some patients may need two bars in severe cases. Finally, a metal stabilizer is placed on one side and absorbable sutures on both. Over several weeks, your body coats the bar with a thick sheath of fiber, securing it in place. The bar will stay in place for two to four years, depending on your age and how much growing you have left to do. During this time, the cartilage that was bent into place by the bar reforms into its new position. This stabilizes the sternum, so once the bar is removed, the sternum stays in place. Second surgery, the bar removal, we will see you every three to six months until your bar is ready to be removed. Bar removal is a much simpler outpatient procedure and usually only takes an hour. First, the stabilizer is removed. Next, the bar is carefully taken out. The chances of the sternum reverting back to its original position are very low, less than 5%. Most patients will only need pain medication for two to three days after bar removal and return to full activity after two weeks with no long-term restrictions. Hope you liked our video. Share this information with your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.